I'm sitting here trying to record this episode while I got Mr. Whiny over here being like, oh, I don't know if there's enough to talk about. I don't really want to do it. It's, I, I, I think it's just a five minute no, I don't know. Like, no, I don't know. We should cut this. Well, the beginning's the whole video of me asking the question and then him responding. How long is the video? Like two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Yeah. We, we can overlook. You can overlook the audio. Okay. So me, you, and Douglas. Yeah. If, if they've listened. Does he have another name? No, I think it's just Douglas. Oh. <laughs> I think we said his name in the actual room live episode where we went and watched the room live, but then we didn't know that just a few weeks later, uh, Greg Stilero, is that how you say his name? Stilero? Yeah, I just say Greg. Yeah, Greg, which is uh, Mark in the room. He was doing a meet and greet plus watching the movie at the Texas Theater, which is like an awesome. old, old Texas theater. So yeah, we, we go there. Douglas is super excited. And he's like, oh man, I wish I would have got something to sign. And what's funny is I ordered the room, you and the stupid sequin pillow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I ordered the room giant movie poster. You don't want me to mess around with the Mega Series. No, I don't. <laughs> and what I ordered it like two weeks in advance. I know no, was, a week. Was it just a week? Just a week. Okay. Well, and I got it much after the fact. But what's funny is when I got the room poster, it was signed by Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, which is awesome. And, and it's not like the ones where it comes already autographed. No, I think no. It says it's on, personally. Yeah, it says on there to Dine, Love is blind, and then it has the the date that he signed it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did buy a football from Xmart and have Greg sign it, and then I gave a Reese's football to Douglas to get signed, and he didn't sign it right. Oh, he signed it. Oh, he yeah. did. Oh, cool. So meeting him was cool. Uh, he didn't smile at any of the photos, which is great. And then I think he smiled with me. He did it. <laughs> He did no, not. No. You you left the sign disaster artist book. Yeah, I did. Right, and then you took a one that wasn't signed. Mm-hmm. So, which I haven't tweeted about him, but I'm like, eh, I'll probably see him again in another day. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking rough, and then I forgot that that movie like came out 20 years ago. I think you're being over dramatic. He looked pretty bad. I don't think so. So l- let me tell you about this night. So I was getting drunk. By I was waiter. <laughs> By, I, our bar, by your bartender. Yes, my bartender. So, I care to explain that bartender real Yeah, fast? I will. <laughs> I actually have a meme I think I can throw up on the screen. Our studio audience over there would know it. So the bartender at the Texas Theater had a mask on, and it was a femboy. It looked just like a girl. No, no, no. Yes, it did. <laughs> I'm interested now. At a far, maybe, <coughs> but then when you get up close to my... Okay, I know. It's not always... All right. It's like that turn around with long hair and it's actually a dude. That, that sort of feeling. No. Do you remember when I sent the meme about the girl when she took her mask off? There was a giant wall or like giant Luigi mustache there. Yeah. Exact same thing. Wow. Yeah. So when I came back from my last drink, they had their mask pulled down, drinking water. Thickest Italian mustache in the world. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I know, because you and Douglas were actually watching the movie. I was exploring. <laughs> so, okay. First of all, um, I get a text message from somebody. Oh, uh, you forgot to mention about uh, the bartender putting the, the drink underneath the table for like a few seconds. And it's like, uh, it made a special just for you. No, this did not happen. <laughs> somebody texted me, I which, mean, thank you was, very much. which was a friend of one of my friends. And uh, I was like, oh, dang, I didn't know you were here. Does he listen to the podcast? Let's... <laughs> He does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to be quite a conversation. I don't think so. I think so. You're just making... <laughs> you're just incriminating yourself. <laughs> no, no. It's okay. I hope you edit this out. I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm going to cut that part out because you're not supposed to talk about specifics. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Uh, I mean, you're the one that brought bringing it up. It it was a friend I'm of my... I'm bringing up the consequences. <laughs> it's, it's a friend of my friend. Mm-hmm. Okay? And we met at the bar and then we effed in the bathroom. <laughs> Luckily, they have condoms in the bathroom. <laughs> Wait, who'd you fucked? A friend of a friend. Okay. At, at When I was there. I think I sent a video to Anthony and Sandy, so. Why um, would you do that? I don't know. Oh, okay. I can just ask them. I'm making an answer to that question. <laughs> I don't think they know who it is. Anyways, uh, that happened. So as I'm like adjusting myself and trying to get the wet stain off my pants, and I'm going to go back in, you know, Douglas and Efren are having the time of their life. The theater is like going, ah, with all the crazy stuff that they do during the movie. Water, water, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I, I smell weed. Like weed. Okay. So I go I go upstairs, 
And I'm like, where's this weed smoke coming from? So it's this random guy smoking a blunt. <laughs> oh, I did not know that. <laughs> yes. I was really drunk. Mm-hmm. And so I took another selfie, or I took a selfie with Greg, even though I'd already taken a photo with him on your phone. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I had him, uh, or I asked him to do an intro for the sweep. So mm-hmm. in one of the future sweep episodes, uh, it's going to say, hey, this is Greg Stellaro with the room and you're listening mm-hmm. to the sweep. So that's going to be cool. I'm surprised he didn't like throw his other credit up in there. Uh, Big Shark? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, I still want to watch that. It would have been funny if you said, if you said the Big Shark and they're like, who? <laughs> room. One day I was at X Mart and one of the Spectrum people looked just like Greg and I even told him that and he looked up on his phone and he was like, oh yeah, that is pretty close. Anyways, I think that's basically all that happened. That's the, the funny stuff I wanted to talk about, having sex in the bathroom. I really didn't watch the movie and the parts that I did watch, I mean, was I was sex scenes drunk. <laughs> the sex scenes that you were just getting more horny. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, that's Sex in the Bathroom. We had the trap bartender with the giant mustache. And put a, the drink underneath. The- no, that never <laughs> happened. The, the pot smoking. Oh, and we were we were all stupid and we brought an extra ball and we were tossing it around before the movie. Because, you know, that is the most bonding thing an American can do. Uh, we didn't actually do that. Yeah, we did. We tossed the ball around. Mm-hmm. I, to- uh, I tossed it with Douglas, not you. We threw it to all three of us. I didn't throw it to you, uh, to you though. Yes, you did. I, uh, I stri- Yes, you did. We tossed the ball around. I don't think so. I just have a harder time catching the ball because of my nails. Mm-hmm. And I want to break them. Didn't your father say you, he wanted you to be a football player? My stepdad. No. It's okay. I'm a press manager of a professional football team. It's not the same, though. It is. That's basically the, the people that do that are the ones that never made it in, uh, made it pro. Anyways. Sorry if I'm throwing this <laughs> a lot of shade right now. <laughs> yeah, just because you didn't want to record this episode, trying to record about Mega64. And I didn't AEW. say anything. I didn't say that. You wanted to bring it up. Okay. But what, okay. You're just mad because I won't tell you who I effed in the bathroom. No, I just don't. I, I'm just like, don't make it such a big deal. I didn't make it a big deal. Okay, then don't bring it up. Oh, I had to bring it up for the episode. Okay. All right. Are we done? <laughs> Do you want to be done? Hmm? Only if you let me finish. In the cup underneath the table? Yeah. <laughs> I did not hit her. It's All not right, true. Uh, it's bullshit. Bodies. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark.